there will be no welcome. There is no introduction, but know that if the games on your Yoga Flame Arcade 1UP cab don't load, this video should give you the fix. This video is for educational purposes only, and is only intended to show you what I've done and what my results are. If you choose to modify your systems using this or any other information I've provided from any video or content I've created, you do so at your own risk. I, this channel, or any person connected to this video will not be held liable for any choices you make with your hardware or software. Modify at your own risk. I have young relatives that live with me, and the youngest doesn't understand that you shouldn't turn these cabs on and off repeatedly. This is the second of my cabs to take ill due to the repetitive power cycling of this youthful madman. In short, I went to play my unmodified cab after entertaining said madman, and I found that my cab looked fine but would not load any games at all. This made my heart sad, but after very little deliberation, I decided to make repairs, and this made my heart happy because I had a simple reason to make a video that wasn't about The Simpsons. Yay for me, and my silly ways to make things work in my favor. Regardless, at the moment, my Yoga Flame will not load games online or as a standalone cab, and I want that fixed. To make this happen, we'll need to locate the back of the cab and remove the back panel. Once we have the back panel off, we'll find our PCB board mounted to the back of the monitor, and on that PCB board, we'll find a USB port that we can plug a USB keyboard and mouse combo into. If you need a keyboard mouse combo, do not worry, as I do have an affiliate link to the one I'm using. If you use the link, you'll know you have the same tool as me, and more importantly, you'll be supporting the channel. So thank you for that support. After you've got your USB keyboard and mouse combo plugged in, we can move to the front of the cab and begin. After our system boots and loads the stock program, we'll need to open the Android operating system by pressing and holding both the Windows key and the N key at the same time. This will open a sub-menu that we'll need to expand to access. Once expanded, locate and activate the setting icon in the lower right side of the menu. This action will present us with a larger menu, and from this area, we'll want to scroll down the list to the bottom and locate a selection titled Systems. Once we're in the Systems menu, we need to expand the last option titled Advanced, and when done, click on the option that corresponds to the Reset options. We'll now click on the option listed as Erase All Data and Factory Reset. Doing so, we'll give us a new menu where we'll wish to again click on the Erase All Data option. However, we'll need to do this two more times. I'm guessing once to pick the option, and the second time is a simple way of just making sure you really want to wipe all of your data away and start with a fresh install. Once done, the system will start the format process, erasing all the data and replacing it with the original image from the factory. Once started, the process is automated, and as long as there is no interruption, you will be fine. Make sure that you don't have any power issues, as a loss of power when reformatting your operating system will result in a large arcade-shaped paperweight that is too large for most people's desks. After the format is completed and you've got a factory fresh image running again on your cab, you'll get the normal boot screen, and the system will load just as it did when it was first turned on. I'm not going to go into system setup, however, you will need to redo all of your settings. At the moment, I just want to verify that my games will load and are once again playable. With a quick test, we find out that our games do load, and all are playable just as they were when shipped from the factory. It looks like this was a simple fix, and it looks as if we'll get to continue playing this cab, but will it still let me run the update? Let's find out. As soon as I connected the cab to the internet, the internal software offered us an update. Once the update started, it took a little over a full minute to download and install. Your time will be different depending on your internet speed. The short of it is, my cab didn't have any issues getting the update after factory resetting my software. The only downside is that I did have to set up all of my settings again and re-sign into leaderboards. In conclusion, this was a very simple fix, and for the most part, a simple fresh start can solve not only this problem but many others as well. This cabinet is a ton of fun, and it's really enjoyed at the house. I believe that's why it broke so quickly. Children can be kind of hard on things. That said, if you'd like an overgrown toy arcade fighting cab, this is a fun one to own and play. If you're still watching, I want to thank you for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, leaving this video a like or comment, or even sharing this video with a friend or on your social media.
All of these are just small clicks of the mouse for you, but to this small channel, those small clicks mean the world. Thank you.